In the last video, we set up a simple line space pattern and we made a simulation. In this video, we're going to continue from that and we're going to try to simulate CD through pitch. In other words, we're going to want to set up a batch of simulations and calculate CD as the pitch changes. So I'm going to just start right from the beginning here as a review. I'm going to choose a new simulation. Kirchhoff mass technology, a line space mass pattern, and a annular illumination. On the pattern, we have a few knobs here. We could change the pitch, we could change the CD, the bias, or the cell size. We could also orient as an H or V line. Let's change the pitch. If I type 200 here, I get a different pitch. I could change the CD also. I could change this to 45. right? But what I really want to do is I want to set up a batch. It's too much work to type in one number, simulate. Type in another number, simulate. Type in another number, simulate. Instead, these yellow fields allow you to put a formula. And the formula can reference variables and the variables can take on multiple values. So instead of just typing a number like 300 here, I'm going to type in a formula and that formula is going to be pitch. Pitch is a variable which I'm going to set a range from 130 to 200 in steps of 5. So my variable comes down here on my variable list. It takes on values 130 to 200 so it takes on 15 values and it's going to be used here in this formula. I'm also going to program my CD to be half the pitch. So I'm going to say pitch over 2. So the formula is pitch over 2. It refers to a variable pitch, the same variable. And whenever my pitch changes, so if I set this as the nominal pitch, set as nominal, then my geometry responds. So the live view will show you the simulation for the nominal case. Okay, so if I choose 130 as nominal, refresh, my live view is showing me this one, which I should have a 65 nanometer CD, but I have 77 because I haven't set my threshold. So when I find nominal threshold, it will cause the CD to be on target for the nominal settings of the variables, which in this case is pitch of 130. So with my nominal correct nominal threshold, now I get a CD of 65. So I've anchored to 130. Now when I simulate, I will simulate the whole range of pitches. However, I have to be careful. My pitch is changing in steps of 5 nanometers. That means that my CD is changing in steps of 2.5 nanometers. But my grid size is 2.5 nanometers. So that means each edge could only move in multiples of 2.5 nanometers. So if I want the total CD to change by 2.5 nanometers, I have to make sure that my grid size will allow me to move each edge by 1.25 nanometers. So this is grid snapping. On my stepper setup, I want to be really accurate, so I'm going to increase the number of source integration points. These red dots here, these red crosses, are your source integration points. If I have only few source integration points, then I don't have an accurate result. If I put a large number of source integration points, that will be a more accurate result. So we've worrying about the grid on the pattern, and this is the grid on the source. So let's refine our nominal threshold with our new grid settings, slightly different now, and we'll refresh live view. That's for the nominal case of pitch 130. 
We've got a CD of one of 65. Now when we press simulate, it will run the entire batch. As it's simulating, the results or the simulation output is shown here, and the final output is here. So we can look at our aerial images or contrast, but let's jump right to looking at our CD. Let's plot this. We have defocus and level, the threshold level, changing, but we're going to just look at the nominal. So I could either come here and just choose the nominal here, or I could press this button, nominal, defocus, and level. I don't want to plot CD versus level and defocus. I want to plot CD versus pitch. And I want that to be pitch on the x-axis. So there's CD versus pitch. In the next video, we'll look at multiple variables and different ways to plot the results versus multiple changing variables.